Hey, what's up, everyone? Uh, this is uh, El Rubio. This is a 1981 Volkswagen Westfalia. Um, it's not a synchro. It's only two-wheel drive, but I did lift it up, put some bigger tires, better tires on it. Um, it also has a good winch in the front so we can get pulled out because we go to some pretty remote spots and some extra lights um, because we're here in Costa Rica where it's quite dark at night and uh, yeah so it's um, been all gone through I bought it here in Costa Rica not too much money actually a surprise compared to what it costs in the States and then I found a decent mechanic to go through the insides, get it all mechanically sound so I could take it on long trips to serve throughout the entire region here in Central America. I've got some, here we go, get these out of here. <laughs> Getting ready and packing my board. Gonna go on a surf trip tomorrow on a plane. Gotta have my board packed or they tend to damage it all. Um, so yeah, this bed here, this is this couch folds into a bed. Actually, all three of my kids, I got a 10 and 12, almost 11 and 13 year old boy and then a three year old girl. They can sit here fine when we're riding. There's actually three seat belts and then it folds into a bed and I sleep with my wife and even my three year old daughter, we can fit there. And then up above here, I know it's kind of dark, but that's only because, well, here, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna open this. This is the original canvas on this pop top. Um, which I've had a few of these vans and um, well they always have some things that that fall apart it depends on the van this one here the canvas is pretty good I think the screen here in the front might have been replaced but you open these up you get great wind it's pretty hot here so sleep in your van can be kind of hot in the tropics but um, so this slides out and this bed is actually here I'll just do it real quick like that I reinforced this bed put it's a piece of plywood thick plywood and um, there you go so yeah you could both uh, all three of my kids could sleep up here and um, there's great airflow I had it reinforced like I was saying with some metal underneath so that you can uh, um, so it doesn't break, you know, it was really bending because my kids, my boys are getting big. <laughs> so here, getting back in here, this couch folds into the other bed. And uh, no matter what, it's a uh, super comfortable way it is. A lot of stuff you can store in the back during the day, like folding chairs, tables, camping gear. Um, the closet space is great. It's actually really deep. Um, I got this table, so you got to fold that out and then you can get in here. A bunch of camping gear and just my fireworks from the years I never let off. Toilet paper, you should always have toilet paper. Uh, duct tape, you should always have duct tape. And um, I mean, back here, I uh, got some chests, jumper cables, a bunch of, bunch of stuff. There's a tent in there, my discs for disc golf. But the real stuff is under here where I've got like some line for hammocks, surf straps, machete bunch of bungees and other stuff for um, for setting up tarps for shade and it's actually pretty empty right now there's a cook stove under here down there some gas so the RV's got a stove too remove my glasses here but um, I just I set one up outside it's got a stove it's got a sink it's got this fridge which is pretty sweet uh, it doesn't work. Got to get it working or replace it. What's cool about these fridges is they use your 12 volt or they use um, the uh, 110. You can plug the RV in, but the propane is really the best because you don't have to run your engine. You don't use any power. You can be off grid for days. Your propane lasts forever uh, in a fridge environment. And um, the tank is just underneath here. You can see it over there on the other side. You know, normally these RVs are pretty low. These, well, not RVs, these camper vans are pretty low. This you can see has got some true clearance. 
which is good, especially in Costa Rica, because we drive over lots of rocks or bad roads, um, water, rivers, stuff like that. So that's what makes the van pretty solid, is it still has the clearance. I was on some beach sand this last uh, week camping, and the van did pretty well. But if I was just driving on the beach, it would probably get stuck. It's pretty heavy, so it's good for like maybe pulling yourself out of some mud because it will gain traction with all of the weight, the engines in the back, and all of the cabinets and stuff. But um, the synchros, the four-wheel drives are super ideal. There weren't any here in the country. That's kind of the uh, the idea is to maybe grow up into that or actually just convert this because you can convert your VW to four-wheel drive. I've definitely been looking into that over the years and you can convert a lot of things you can convert a school bus if you really want to but i wouldn't recommend it to get some of down some of these costa rican trails so um up front it's pretty sweet you've got this chair obviously it's sitting the other way right now because i was hanging out with some friends but this thing spins around it's pretty easy and um that's always cool when you're hanging out. And then the other chair, actually, the driver's captain see that that spins too, but I put a second battery in the area below it. So it kind of blocks it from spinning. Plus it's kind of inconvenient with the steering wheel. And uh, even if you did, your feet would be all screwed up. And I mean, come on, how many people do you really want to hang out with on your surf trip? The answer is maybe one or two others. <laughs> I had this rack put in up on top, which is sweet. You could put your cooler i put my dishes and utensils on top of some tarps and then i bungee it down put a shovel up there too nice little uh this is an awning that folds out it's obviously uh not fold out now but it takes a couple minutes pretty simple and then i had uh this water system i made it well i had it made and i need to make i kind of need to fix it it's leaking a bit but really uh it's just a four inch diameter pvc tube with some fittings on the end here and then I went to the hardware store and bought a hose and then bought a like a hose kit where you can put a like a like a female to female on either end so that way you can hook it up to here and to your hose faucet to fill it up uh, just by opening the valve like that oh and then uh, there's another valve for air which is right here at the top just like a bike tire you open that up that gives you some uh, pressurization uh, and then you can have a little bit of a uh, shower water when you're cruising Put some racks on top too and uh, put three instead of two just to help spread the weight because I'd like I even though I'm a big surfer uh, I do own a paddleboard I won't lie of course I don't surf with it but it's nice when it's flat or when you're going to some flat water areas especially with the kids let them tool around so it'll hold a paddleboard or a kayak or multiple surfboards and then it's a manual pop top which is good because when you're camping in some places that are maybe a little less um, I don't know, a little, little more like prone to getting robbed. Like I used to camp in Baja a lot and definitely parts of Costa Rica would be the same. You put your boards on your racks, you pop your top and then literally someone would have to come with a ladder to get them down and that would wake you up. Um, the door in the back's locked, I don't have the key, but you know, it helps some airflow. There's some cabinets back there. But yeah, I guess that's about it. That's the van. His name is El Rubio. El Rubio <laughs> started as a joke, but it's pretty fitting. And uh, yeah, the goal of this new year is just to sleep as many nights as possible in the van, surf as many spots as possible in the van, enjoy each and every day, and uh, and and live life to the fullest, really. And uh, that's about it. I hope you like this video. If you're uh, thinking about doing something similar the camper van want to ask any questions or i don't know just say what's up send a comment down below here on the page besides that maybe i'll see you surfing in costa rica at witch's rock surf camp or volcano brewing company tamarindo's local microbrewery all right then pura vida nos vemos